Hello once again audience, you won't believe me, but I found completely new, not yet unboxed Logitech Z Cinema 2.1 multimedia speaker system. This system was developed more than 10 years ago, wow, it's like a Logitech high-end setup that is equipped with satellite speakers and with real tweeters. Click on the i button to take a look at the teardown of Logitech Z333 equipped with fake tweeters. Another joy of Z Cinema is that the satellite speakers use a B-amping circuit that is only used in serious high fidelity and PA systems. As we can see, the system is equipped with true surround HD digital sound effect. Also previously mentioned B-amping for the satellite speakers and a multifunctional remote control. It's not an ordinary remote, you can use it to control windows from your couch. This Logitech Z Cinema also looks much better than its successors, a real peril from Logitech. If you take a good look at the features list, you will see another impressive bonus to this Logitech high-end stereo music system. It has a built-in 24-bit sound card. Yes, a built-in sound card. These speakers are connected to a computer using USB. If you use a non-board computer sound card, then its sound quality will improve. But if you're a hi-fi person, then you will surely have an external sound card or DAC, and it won't be a big bonus. But how many of you actually use a decent sound card? Write in the comments if you use Neon sound card or any other card. I don't know about you, but I want to take a look at how these over 10 year old Logitech 2.1 active speakers look like. Let's do this. This is history that transcends today's Logitech stuff. Mmm, smells like new. Of course, there's pretty thick manual, probably because there are dozens of options for Windows with a remote. Mm, what's there? Looks like a suitcase. Let's take a look. Oh, sub front and sub rear, whatever that means. Okay, let's open. So, two satellite speakers and a remote. They look very good. See, here in Tech Screw channel, we don't tell you any lies. We love objectivity, though sometimes harsh and unpleasant. The remote also looks very good. Only the Windows logo is old. They don't use it anymore. Here's the Euro power cord and UK power cord. They thought about everything. And USB cable with new batteries. Or to be more precise, they were new. Wait, you can actually see the year. March 2014 which means that the system was produced from 2008 and at least until 2014. Alright, what else is there? Looks like a subwoofer. Let's unpack it. It's the juice in 2.1 systems. And it also seems that there's nothing else in the box. The subwoofer is also packed in a finely packaged container for safe transport. Well, look at this cutie. Who doesn't like subwoofers? Subwoofer pad feet are also serious. Such an interesting curved design. Nice. But I don't like the glossy surfaces because they leave fingerprints behind, especially under the table where your feet can join the base. The base reflex port is also pretty serious for a small 8 inch subwoofer. As you can see, one satellite speaker has two RCA outputs. Have you actually seen any other system like this? I told you that these are Logitech high end speakers. The right speakers combine with the control USB input for sound card from PC and power cord input. The cooling radiator is not big because the subwoofer has a class D amplifier and the satellite speakers have AB class. That smell, young and neat. I really like this silver border around it. Say what you want, but nowadays you can find such beautiful Logitech 2.1 setup. Even a place for a tripod mount. Good job Logitech. Here's the console satellite speaker with a slight change, headphone output and analog aux 3.5mm input. Everything is mostly the same, except the plugin does not dual RCA, but this subtype. And here's the key that opens all features of the Z Cinema system and Windows control from the bed. This remote is so cool that it has a rotary knob in it, stylish and comfortable. There also was a Euro power cord that looks like is sufficient length. Those real tweeters, mmm, these are very pretty satellite speakers. It's a shame that Logitech chose another road. The Z5500 and Z2300 are also good examples of what you cannot see nowadays, also including this setup. So I think everyone is really interested in how this Logitech Z Cinema sounds like. I will record it, both without the grill based test and versus the Logitech Z623. But I have listened to these before and I have some stuff to say. Either I'm lucky or not, but I have heard our Logitech top systems and I can say that these really sound the best. If you prefer a balanced, detailed and lightweight sound that does not press on the head. If your best sound is bass, that shakes glasses on the table and suppresses two thirds of the remaining frequency range then Z Cinema won't be for you. Z Cinema is more like a high fidelity system where the emphasis is on a balanced and jointable sound. Of course, these are plastic speakers, but good ones. What a shame that Logitech doesn't have anything similar to this. 
Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to support me. And I'll see you in the next Logitech Z Cinema sound test and teardown video. Adios, my friends.